I felt like the paparazzi was tracking me or something. How y'all know I was over here? I'm over here, man. Don Cannon, this is my home. Can't tell y'all where we at, but this is not an interview with Manny Supreme. And if you didn't know, it's Don Cannon, number one cosigner. I'm in this bitch. All right, man, let's take a look into tomorrow's studios, man. Come on. Oh, no. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Now, you were a hooper growing up in Philly. Give me some of your top three Philly athletes of all time. Rashi Wallace, Donnie Carr, and Kobe Bryant, man, sir. I did not know Kobe was from Philly. What? I thought he was born in Italy. He was born in Italy, and then he moved to Philly. No, he was. That's crazy. Favorite software to cook up beats on? Ableton. Y'all better pay me me too. You got your first turntable at age three. It was a Sony. You know then, like, okay, DJ might be for me. Man, you on some Nogwar shit. Uh, yeah, I knew it was. I think my mom told me the only reason they could stop me from crying was to play music. So they figured it was something to go along there. So when they got me a turntable, I would just sit there and play with it. Now, you moved to Atlanta to go to college, correct? You remember DJing or like going out to like your first outing when moving to Atlanta? First party that I went crazy in was in a cafeteria at Clark Atlanta and that's where promoters came to see me and, and talked to me like yo bro we want to bring you in the club so back then they had Club Dime they had uh, Level 3 you was too young for all this uh, I mean you ended up DJing like real big exclusive spots like you said the glass room was it how much of knowing how to DJ has helped you in your creative process and being a great producer it helped me organize it like knowing my playing field like like even being like one of the first people to get on Serato like to not carry crates up the steps was a no no it was like bro you ain't got no crates you tripping so like i just always wanted to stay ahead of the curve and then you know just having people follow me uh, you know as a fan base and then it just built up from the glass room we are here at tomorrow studio for everybody who is watching what is tomorrow first and foremost is a brand branding for all the future creators for tomorrow it started as an app it's tomorrow app, and that's basically a community of creatives and clients trying to find each other to projects albums managers lawyers all in one space kind of like task rabbit for creatives um it grew into a brand of you know network where we have plenty of shows. So out of all of the beats that you've made, out of your Grammy Award winning career, which one, like when you hear, are you most proud of? Most proud of Cannon because, again, it went through so many development stages. Did it in Miami for Trick Daddy at first. Uh, we never got a chance to connect. I took it home, Busta Rhymes got to it, and then Lil Wayne got to it. And what was most exciting about it is being next to Wayne when everybody was doubting him. We just got a chance to be a part of history with Dedication 1 is showing them, like, bro is good, not just for the South. He's good for the world.